bombs. The sort of more firework operators to get a good entry on into the building. For the meantime, BDS going to be taking the time. Bride is going to lead this charge. Immediately flashes out onto Kino. You can see there that the Dreadmine has little to no effect. No Lems, he's in the sight. Hello, Lems is just walking down long. He's picked himself up too. Now's the time for Shaiko to hop in. Catch these roamers out as they try and retreat back to site. We've got Diaz coming down Freezer, but the plant's going down here, Demo. Yeah, nobody from M80 there to react. Alems wins his 1v1 and the entire site just falls to BDS. M80 have tried to roam game. I just don't think roaming in this current meta and Oregon basement is just going to get you caught out. And there's two of them both stacked up in Freezer. Alems didn't know who to target, but both of them eventually will fall. Efak and Shaika respectively picking up a kill each. Yeah, BDS is easy as a light for them. To stop him. Do they know he's there? That's the big question. Lion Scan's going to go out and give him a little bit of audio cover to be going in. The Doe could be called as well. They know that somebody's tucked and he likely knows that somebody's here he inside of Bumps, but he turns his back at the wrong moment. Wrenchy, it's all down to you, my friend, as he flies in through Big Window. BDS going for the same again there. They lost out on that roam clear and said, well, we're still going to hit the site. We'll try and catch him as they come back. the smoke. Still have plenty of players healthy, which is an important thing. Still utility, look at the flashbangs. They have five of them only that they can use to try and clear this guy out of a pillar. And also a shotgun primed and ready. Leaky Fight's going to hit this drop, and it's going to be furious when he does. Wrenchy finds himself one. Alems a second, winning that heads-up engagement, but he is eventually cut down by Diaz. Immediately traded out. Spoit left inside a freezer, grabs one. Plant now going down. Going to come off the plant for a time being. Still 20 seconds left. Leaky Fat going to think about replacing that plan, but Renshi knew all along where Spoit was hiding. They wanted the control of the top floor. Everyone from M80 now have retreated downstairs, so they will have to now try and hold in towards their objective and see four against Prime, but nothing comes off it. Efax, he gets the first pick, all like that. All that moving around outside finally gives him a kill. No more C4s left now either. Gomez was the only one holding one. Now you've got the players from BDS in upstairs and they're going to start to use the breaching charges to rip open that floor. Shaiko, we said he's good with nades, he's delivering, picks up another. Iconic, potential for a bit of a flank here. All depends on how good the flank watch is. There's no one dead from the side of BDS, there's going to be no one on cam. Lems, he will likely now flick onto the cam as he was taken out there by Kino. Iconic, getting an idea as to where this plant is going down, but he can't just walk in, surely? Shaiko, he's going to finish him off there with the knife. Kino now trying to join into the party, but it's almost a little bit too late. Bride, a second attempt on the plant. Shaiko picks up three. Bride goes, you know what? I'll just come off it. I'll just find the final kill instead. Thank you last time, Twitch this time. Rinsing that utility that remains on site. We went basement again. I wonder if M8 are going to drop off as quickly as they did, or will they actually go for a fight? Oh, oh my goodness, Look at him go! <laughs> Spoy oh, Gomez he has on the down. stairs. Alarms now will go for the drone. They see that default cam is up. And Efak, he's just going to try and walk in because he knows he's he's not actually in the site. He's on the staircase, a freebie for Efak. And sure, Iconics went on check, but realistically, what, what impact is going to have in a 2v5? I don't know. He's going to have to have a big impact now. He's managed to creep his way back down the stairs. Kino taking a ton of damage. Renchi, only moments away from spotting Iconic there. Iconic will pick himself up one, but should immediately be taken out and will be. But it wouldn't be around with Shaiko on nades if he didn't pick one up himself. Just before Renshi finds the final kill, Shaiko's nade lands true yet again. I just feel as though BDS are going to get five kills in about five seconds here, Ollie. That's what it feels like. They're just getting in position. They're ready to strike at every possible limb of M80. There we go. Iconic, though. He will maybe try and stun it at the moment. But nope. Two kills. Three kills. There we go. That's what I mean, Ollie. You just, you're waiting for it to happen. BDS, you can tell the structure, the shape of the attacks. They hit you from every angle. They don't allow you to breathe. They understand how to play this game at such a top level. And they're showing at a 5-1 half. You won't get better halves in Oregon than that. Incredible stuff. Certainly targeting him in. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything right now from M80. They're looking to push the tower stairs, looking to push in towards blue. Here comes the Blitz. Will get eliminated, Ollie. A massive kill for Shaiko. He's going to be down, but not in a position to get revived. The flashbang will find two of them. Renshiro and Shaiko both have to try and work together. Gomez eliminates one, and BDS are battling back, but equally, M80 are still in it. Sport with his second in the round. M80 are in the site, Ollie, but they're not going to go for the plant. Great kill there from Shaiko. Just rotating through elbow. He's still dominating here inside a bunker. 
Plant is going to start to go down yeah, now. Ranchero playing quite passively. He needs to get himself Renji. down the stairs. <gasps> Jaco's just got the most oh. important glimpse he could have done. Three kills on the round, but finished off by Five Kino. Kino now is in a do or die. Has to plant Renchi. This should be fairly straightforward as long as he's got the info. And it looks like he does. Renchi swings the corner. BDS continue this flawless streak here on Oregon. Is that just... Yeah. You know you're done. Like, you know, you know you're beat. You know you're beat. <laughs> That's what it feels like for me. This band after this, they're gonna keep playing. Oh no, this this is a you're, you're off. Oh, Ooh, maybe what not. A kill from Spoit. Diaz piling in as well. Might be quiet. Quietly getting the job done here. M80 lead by a landslide. Five to two here. Renchi needs to try and get something back here. It's aggressive peeking onto big window, but he's got to try and do something to alleviate this pressure. Been able to land the shots, and Diaz is going to find him. Shaiko, there's the time to live up to your name. It's now Thank a lot of information, but full white flash, unlikely to do much. And Diaz finishes things off. Much better round from M80. And realistically, that's all you need to really make this push a success. This is your staging round. The worry I have is what are they going to do with the sense? Because they need to work a charm, because that's the only way that they're going to try and disrupt the sidelines and the vision. But BDS will bounce back with two kills. They need to get a sense in the position where they can try and get that plant down. On this attack, it's all about getting the plant because it's such a difficult retake for the attack or for the defenders. Once the attackers are in prime position, that they'll win it outright. But they oh, need to get this wall. They're not opening the wall. Potentially try and get the plant down behind it. I want to try and see if you can maybe just plant in behind the bomb, but then if you haven't cleared showers, Rene can walk through, but Gomez is there. He back. Oh, he gets shredded. Gomez on for the ace only. Shaiko in the hot seat once again. He's got a bit of info here. He knows exactly where Iconic is. He's going to land a couple of shots. One versus one. Shaiko takes it. BDS. Map one in the books. A devastating attacking phase from them here on Oregon. Left himself light work to do on the defense, only requiring two rounds. Jammer in place, so they have to work a little bit harder. No one aids on the lineup for M80 again. We've seen that a few times in Oregon, which was always a bit of a, a concern, especially if you think about a map like Border, where there is plenty of nade spots, especially from below. They have impact DMPs from Diaz, so they could utilize them. But for M80, they're not really getting the picks. I say that, though, Iconic has opened up with the most important one. Will eliminate the player inside Brazil. Security will go in favor of M80, and that can really where you start to shift the focus now, where you can start to really rip players out of these positions because they just don't have the security, and that's exactly what's happening. It took a while for M80 to get things going, but now it really is working for the BDS under a heck of a lot of pressure. M80 sweep BDS in the first round. Should have been Rene, maybe looking for a double. I'm really trying to see if they can retake in towards Customs, which is a location that M8 have got themselves into a good position, but as long as the is here, they're going to have issues. A great rotate from Iconic only hits them towards East, and that will create issues now for BDS, as they have lost the top floor, and with still a minute to go, M8, they have plenty of time to start ripping up that floor. I think if I put himself into Passport here, good C4 to just bring the balance back somewhat. Bold play from Leaky Fag just flying himself that. through the wall. I think that Diaz even, of course, used against you. And Brady has no C4. There's no real denial if a defuse does start to happen. Shaiko, an important kill. That loses the customs. Kira then has to swing, and Shaiko takes advantage of that. Shaiko putting the team on his back. We should have seen the flank go down ages ago, Wally. But the fact that Diaz lost that pick has put them in quite a predicament. Iconic, he's 4-0 right now, Wally, but I feel as though he's going to get his first death as all it takes is Brady to fire for the smoke. He knows exactly where he is. And BDS, they respond. 1-1. One, one. back. That, that's the idea that they're going for. Renji, if he goes on check, all is this Fenrir. Could cause issues, but never mind. M80 will find two kills. Alems responds with one. And Alems going for a very aggressive approach. Ollie going straight for the flank. M80, a little bit low on drones, as we know, Ollie. This is where they can really take advantage. BDS, Shaiko inside the site, finds a freebie. They have no idea. Jumps over into bathroom alongside and will drop that player with the diffuser. M80, a shambolic hole. That flank comes in. Shaiko's on one HP here. He's got to play this to perfection. The Diffuser is going to be cold. Iconic's probably got a pretty good idea as to where he is. But he has to check every single one of these stalls. Is Shaco going to get the heads up? No! Iconic. He only needed to land one. 
And he landed it. You can see the Freya things. Also, it's going to be good for, for two reasons. One, you obviously, you just get to walk into the A-bomb site and go for the plant, which we see a lot of times. But also, it's also really good for setting up a shield towards east. You can then lock down uh, the majority of that main corridor. You can just hold anyone who tries to cross in through the double doors, over towards the rotation, towards Brazil. And oh, spoit! Ho-ho! Oh, a beautiful double kill! As easy as you like! Jesse J. Chick, eat your heart out! Could have been an ace for him now, with the way that those two players lined up beautifully. Still on for it. The Lems could take a chunk load of damage. Bride as well. This is when A8 can just start to tighten that net. Diaz is going to find one onto a Lems. Spoy eventually taken down by Bride, but only ever going to be a matter of time. M80 are warming up into this one. Seeing if he can catch anything, even a mute jammer to stop him again. It's just, it's really free reign for the Bravo drones in this game. He was getting really good value out of it. It's been a number of players on M80 that have actually picked up Bravo and played it. The opening battle reigns on. This time we can chalk one up for Shaiko. Takes Spoit down, but Gomez says, well, I'm just going to push the site. Gets a kill with the skeleton key, but immediately taken out. He's able to get a Lems though before Shaiko sees to it. His second kill is marked up for this round. Leaky Fact down below. Beyond the Oryx gets himself into a little bit of hot bother, but a bit of a one two punch there from BDS as Bride swings around. You, asked for. you want to see him drop off a little bit more earlier, Oli? Really make M80 work through it. Yeah. Waste the utility, waste the timing more than anything. And They've been rewarded for it as BDS are up in numbers and Iconic gets a freebie. Oh, almost finds a second EFAC. How's he not there for the refract? I want to know. He will make it up for it though. Eventually gets the kills and EFAC, welcome to the server, my friend. Last time they defended here, it didn't work out for him too well. Shaiko again in a similar position towards East, but he's going to try and use the information that Renshiro can supply. See if he can flank up East, but look at that position. Look at that angle being oh, held by Iconic. Goodness. Shaiko doesn't care. He doesn't care that Iconic has such a good angle. He'll fry him anyway. I was looking at that. I was thinking lights out surely for Shaiko, but no. More than that here, and they could come to blow, especially if the time starts to get short. Well, we've got one that LMs is flicking through alongside the Valkyrie cameras. Kino will drop in, try and go for the defuse, but isn't sure about it at the moment. And M8, you're really struggling to find out the information of where these players are. But in comes the Echo Drone, in comes the Yokai. It will stun him once. In comes Shaiko for the freebie. Yes, the yellow pink. Shaiko, that's all she wrote. BDS, a simple collapse. Brita hit in a very safe position only underneath the table. At no harm's way whatsoever. Gonna take out a Lems. I think a Lems has already used all of his util at this point. Efac, he is gonna try and start to make his way through now. Bride just navigating this rappel. Not all the time we see that armory wall get open. No. Not a lot of times. Most of the teams have been just trying to operate in towards security and then in through Fountain because there's always gonna be a rotation hole. This is what I mean with the pockets of space that BDS will try and achieve. Efac will wriggle his way in to these positions. There is a yellow thing, so he didn't know he's there. Iconic will flood up in towards the metal staircase. And now he's in a, a hot bit of bother because he doesn't really know where- is able to get himself outside now. You can see his teammates rotating to try and assist. Kino, he's gonna try and push himself up. Brude keeping a keen eye on that security. He's gonna get pinched at the same time here and oh, taken fact. down. Three kills, Leaky Fat, you've got to do something here. Kino, he's on the disable. You can't no be time. finishing the kills off. Leaky Fat, there's no time. Where's the info? Oh, Efac caught in Narnia, shoots at the wrong moment. That does give his position away, but now they know exactly where that Fenrir is, and Nade will come in. Gomez should die, and there we go. A good refrag. Again, that's where Shaiko, they're doing well today, of just seizing that control of where it's left empty. Lems is so close to grabbing these players, they drop back off the, off the through the hatch, but Shaiko, he's still dishing out the damage. Another nade to cook and throw in here. Is he going to do oh. too much? But through the hatch, look at him Any go. Acers? He isn't getting challenged at all. Somebody shut him down. All of a sudden, Kino versus the world. Shaiko. How does he keep getting away with this? Could be the Shaiko show the way it's going, but again, this is a best of five. We still have another map after this, don't forget. But at the moment, BDS have just... They've taken control. The diffuser's going down. Oli still half the round to play. Per day, another plant. I don't know how they're getting plants down on border so quick, but they are. Kino is asleep at the wheel. He has no idea how that has happened, how he's let that slip. There's a player right beside him. Shotgun comes in. Will catch. Efac. He tries to run away, and 
Oh dear, now it's Brene in the one versus three, and he gets taken out. What's happened there for BDS? A retake's happened. So what on earth? Yeah, part. part of the problem with getting the plant down on border is you've got to be willing to hold it. That isn't an ideal plant location either. Nearly every single round. This is actually a pretty good rotation for Gomez. He knows he needs to try and get back into sight and try and double up with Iconic. You do not want to leave themselves in these engagements. And it's done really well even to get the kill back, but he should be going back to sight now. But no one instead decides to stay. Inside security is a risky one, considering that Alems is right beside him and the health advantage is firmly in favor of the Sledge. And yeah, we'll eliminate Gomez now. Iconic has to clutch up. Hey, we've talked about Shaiko. 15 and 8. Iconic 13 and 5 only, and we've kind of missed out on him. This is, could be, uh, I would say, the clutch of the tournament if he makes this happen. Still a long way to go, and the Lions kind of going to make it any easier. He's able to land the first and actually drops off. He's going to play around this nade. He knows he's got the, he's got the ability to deny this plant. He is, of yeah, course, playing the on the Valkyrie. But plant on the concrete, and things get a lot easier. Throws the C4 up, but leaky fact yeah. from the hatch. Which is on there. And you can plant all your team hold you from outside main door, and one player also upstairs on the vertical angles. It's an impossible retake. You can't really do much against it as the defense. I would say if you're M80, you're probably looking for a retake up metal stairs, because that's what you want the trying to do. A lot of verticality is going to have to happen, but it looks as if they're going for uh, the kills, Ollie. They're going to go for the kills. They drop into Workshop and BDS. Well, they break through. Now they're on top, Ollie. Six, five, Matt points. He's trying to play for these vertical angles. He knows that someone's there, and he's really just showcasing some of his patience here. We've got Leaky Fack outside of the side window as well, and oh, we're going to see a bit of a hop in. Actually, a lens is going to get himself into security. Immediately taken oh. down here. Spoit starts landing some shots. This is when M80 need him. Yeah, but Diffuser right now is in the heart of the bomb site. Rene, he doesn't have it at the moment. He now picks it up, and there's Shaiko while we talk about Spoit, but we can never forget about Shaiko. M80 in the spin cycle, BDS. They will take the map away from M80. We pitched the M80. This would be their best chance to get into the series. But the French, they're rocking Ollie. Is in value. The removal of the Iana, of course, means that there's going to be two less nades run on the side of BDS. It's a kitchen plan. It's going to be down to Renshi to see if he can make use of that nade onto the Clash. Gomez, he's going to kick things up for the kill there over onto Leaky Back. See a Doku be called coming through and a drop that's immediately dealt with there. As Gomez picks himself up too. Shaiko drops into the lap of the blue player. Spoit in position to finish him off. Renshi, he's got great vision. Can find a down and a confirm over onto Diaz, but not a lot else you can do, especially with a clash in tow. M80 going to be kicking off Clubhouse here in a much better fashion. As Renshi just desperately tries to save that KD, scurries around that kitchen floor. Got Iconic down inside of Bunker, trying to give him a little bit of information there. He's able to put a couple of shots in over onto Leaky Fag, but. Nothing more than that. Shaiko, he's going to hop himself straight into sight. It eliminates the player on Garage Rafters and Kino playing at the top of the stairs. The kills are starting to fly. Bride, he's got the diffuser. He could quite easily look for a plant now under the cover of Shaiko. Shaiko can continue to try and hold this. Lems from below removes yet another problem. And it's all down to Diaz. We talk about opportunity spotting demo. That's it. That was some hella opportunity spotting from BDS. Yeah. Players off site, it's going to mean that BDS can just move in, get that diffuser down, and oh, BDS, a very clear cut round from them. They seize the opportunity, they see the space. Would have been a good pick as well on Therenshi. Yeah. Diaz is going to send his C4 flying as well, so no more C4s, just Shaiko. He's going to take a quick opportunity to peek through construction. No mirror window on the construction wall. Surprise, because we see the mirror onto bathroom, but <laughs> Renchi. Renchi, look at him go. We talk about the power of this clash. Just sits and holds an angle. That suits him well. Dishes out tons of damage. And of course, with the clash, you're leaving the other two really in an effective two versus four here. Kino's going to move up to try and do something about it, but he immediately gets taken down by Shaiko. We will down Renshiro in the process. Iconic. He's going to be left with a challenge here into construction. He knows exactly where Shaiko is. The alibi sells him there. But Bride, he can start to get this plant down as all of these distractions are going forward. Finishes Shaiko off, gives the rest of the information. Renshi, he's taken Spoit down. Iconic, got a long old way to go, my friend. The diffuser's planted inside a gym. He's going to do his best, but 
Bride's best is better. But blue is now viable. I think they're actually going to use Osa to drop. Remember, it acts like a riot yeah. shield. Essentially, there's bulletproof as you hold that, and then he sets it up. There ain't too much denial that are in a good position, really. It's just a clash. There's a C4 being wasted. Brede, all he has to do is get the shield down, but it is being stunned out by the clash, Oli. And he's being impacted as well, but it has been placed. All he needs to do is get the diffuser down. Leaky Fight's doing a real big job here to try and hold that cross. Eventually, the shield will go down, and Brede is going to attempt this plan to Lems. He shuts down two, make it three, as we finally see Long be challenged there. But it's not enough. Wrenchy from the hatch. Go for a quick drone to gather that last bit of info, but he's really working out there as a lone ranger. Not gonna have any ability to be refragged if he loses that gunfight. This point knows that. Leaky Fight takes a good portion of damage there. Iconic picks up his second. Leaky Fight will find one, but Spoit immediately there for the trade. Finally, BDS have managed to get that breach off, but they're greeted with a bulletproof and a guy playing behind the rack. Quick swing from Kino and one from Gomez. BDS, for all that we praise you on your ability to deal with utility, that looked pretty shoddy. Much better from BDS. Not sure if Shaco knows that he's downed in there. Diaz will get picked up quite quickly. We are going to see a smoke and potentially oh, a the drop smoke and now. Brilliant. Shaco can now start to move on through. That's got a little bit of assistance here as well, faced with the bulletproof shield, but Bride is going to win his one over onto Iconic. The fire is going to stop anybody from transitioning for the time being. Still with that deployable shield. Shaco wow. knows he's behind it and he isn't going to miss a second time. Church will now fall and it all lands on to Kino. BDS devastating in the push. Making her way through the bands as well. Spoit will send the nade out from behind that mirror window, but isn't going to have the desired effect. Gomez will block the glass for the time being. We can see Dokubi Call coming through. Shaiko picks his second up as Leaky Fax next to fall, but Renshi is going to be there with Where the three. Where Blind peaks. Renshi, what are you doing? Oh, Leaves it all up to Shaiko. Oh, Old Renshi. M80 maybe looking to see if they can abuse the nook as well as what Efac were doing. He's looking to creep up through kitchen up to the main stairs. Is there anyone in position to try and stop that? Shaiko will be eliminated by Diaz. The Fermite gets the opening pick and here comes Gomez. I love to see it. This is what we need to see more from M80 is opportunity spotting. Eliminates the Frost to drop. Also comes in towards logistics. Efac eliminates Shaiko. Out comes the Deagle from Gomez. He will spray a lot of bullets towards that opening oh, no. of logistics. But no, Efac, a TK on the Brede. Kino's going to start to try and get that plant down. Does come off it for a brief moment. We do have a Lems below, but he hasn't got any direct denial. Leaky Fax is going to try and win this engagement, but Gomez is better. Fantastic push from Gomez there. Charging his way up those main stairs and really opening up the site. He's going to grab the final kill as well. Where has that M80 been, Demo? Yeah. That is yeah. the M80 yeah. we expect on See. the clock. Shaco's got to try and hold on Someone here for as spawn. long as possible. Long angle being held by M80. But look at the Monty Ollie. Look how Dominic can block the doorway now. That's an issue. BDS are going to be struggling to stop them getting into the site. Iconic picks up the C4 below. A great round from M80. I love to see the Monty rotate into that position. It just forces everyone back from BDS. And M80 just sweep in, get the kills, using the info. Now, a little bit of utility now as a nade does come into blue. It will land a little bit short. Kino. He has been able to hit the drop though. BDS are aware of this and it's surely only a matter of time until we see C4s flying in. One's gonna land right at his feet. There's a good portion of oh. damage, but look at this for a collapse. Iconic picks himself up too, but quickly is left in the clutches. Three versus one here. Diffuser cold. Might be opening the wall, but it's just a little bit too late. Lems, he's gonna find that final kill. BDS, match, series point. M80, wasting a lot of utility, Ollie. That's both nades gone. No kills to show for it. Spending a lot of time as well. This Oh, that's going to be devastating. Takes out the Selma. So we one less thing that can get open. Finally, we see an opening pick Gomez, coming yeah. on to Renchiro. Gomez, he's been pretty good in that stat line so far. Bride, there for the How trade. Alems, Alems, Alems what a kill over on to Kino. Alems is still there. Leaky back on the flank. Four versus one. This is going nowhere for Iconic. He's got to find all the kills. Shaiko picks up the final two. <laughs> BDS. They do it again out here in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. A game is eight. Oh, it was coming. It was coming, Ollie, I think, from the first map.
We had a suspicion. We really did. I think we, we gave M80 a better belief that they could get back into it. But BDS, they're back. They are back. They were in hibernation mode over the spring. But oh boy, they've came out hungry in the summer. Here they are, your Gamers 8 2023 Rainbow Six Champions, BDS!